Hello everybody from Ibaraki Prefecture! We have just travelled from Tokyo to a close by prefecture called Ibaraki, it's to the northeast. Yeah, and we've been invited here today to see some of the best spots and I'm so excited because we're starting with this beautiful waterfall. Yeah, we thought we'd start with a little bit of nature because uh, Ibaraki is known for it and it's just coming into autumn so the leaves are changing. Yeah, and this is Fukuroda Falls and it is actually one of the best waterfalls in Japan, top three. Top three. So. Pretty impressive. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's a, it's just four different tiers to it. And it's just, it's glorious. And it's wide. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but if you're here in person, it is literally so big. Yeah. Because usually a waterfall is like really, you know, slim. But each season, it looks a little bit different. If you come in the winter, you get a chance to see it completely frozen, which is oh. cool. But right now they also have some winter illumination and stuff. Ooh. So lots to see. I'm excited. Should yeah. we give it a little walk? Yeah, let's Hang walk on. around. And then we have a bunch of other spots. So Ooh. let's get started. Welcome to Ibaraki. We're on a suspension bridge right now to get a different view and it looks amazing. And I heard they have a light up at night. Yeah, I mean, right now they have illumination in the tunnel itself as well, which we got to see, but uh, I wish we could stay a bit longer to see the waterfall lit up, but we got to go to the hotel. Yeah, it's getting dark. And we booked a really cool traditional place with like tatami and all that, a fancy dinner. So let's go, Emma. Yeah, let's go chill and explore more tomorrow. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. So tonight we're staying in a traditional Japanese hotel called Yu Sensor, and uh, we're here to check out our room. Here we go. Ooh, it's so nice. Come on in. I love traditional places. Wow, this is so nice. Oh, oh my gosh. Sarah, your favorite. My yeah. God. <laughs> Kotatsu. I've lost her. She's gone. Do you guys know what this is? It is the best thing Japan has ever invented. It is a kotatsu, which is a heated table, and it only comes out in the winter, and you could eat like mika, and you can chill here. And in Japanese, they say, which means you're basically rendered useless as a human because you cannot leave. Bye. That's why I'm scared of buying one. I'll never do anything other than lie under. Oh, she's gone. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to get it. Oh, yeah, I'll, for me. I'll do the tour, I guess. Uh, over here, we have our futon, which we can set up later and sleep on some yukata to wear to dinner, which will be very soon. I'm excited for it. And the view is super nice. Come check this out. Okay, I'll come out for this view. This is pretty good. <laughs> is that a Japanese garden? Yeah, a beautiful Japanese garden. So we get just a really luxurious view of the whole thing. <gasps> Did you see that tori gate when we came in? There was literally a single like tori. Yeah, I, apparently that gate has been here before the hotel was built as well. And the pond, like it's a natural pond. Wow. And they built everything around it, so. Oh my gosh. And this is a Shaw era themed. Well, it's not themed, it's actually from the Shaw era. <laughs> you can see how many years it's just been around. Like it's more wooden, we've got tatami, beautiful like Paint. hand painted. Painting. Yeah. Yeah. It's wow. very cute, it's beautiful vibes. And I would like it if we could get dressed in our yukata and go down to get some dinner. So we just took a beautiful hot bath and now we're ready to feast. Look at this. I'm so excited. Did you know we're going to have Hitachi Gyu, which is a local Wagyu in Ibaraki. Ah! You know what I'm most excited about? That it's Shabu Shabu Baby. Yes, My okay. My favorite that we fought about in the past. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm excited. Me too. This will be like a bit of a redemption for me with Shabu Shabu. I think so. I think so. The sauce is like the best bit, like a little Should I give it a go? Okay. A little sesame, sesame sauce. Oh my gosh. You just drink Yo, that, That's awesome. You just drink the sauce. I know it's, it's strong flavored. <laughs> I like it. Good start. But awesome. we also have like some sides. So I, they usually have seafood here. You've got a lovely yes. selection. Yes, uh, nizakana, so a boiled, boiled fish. Lots of sauce, looks very tasty. What did you get? I got chicken instead. So I appreciate that the hotel could accommodate to my you know, dietary requirements. Definitely. Also, guys, look at the room we're dining in. It's very nice. I like it. Very it's beautiful. Once again, tatami and very traditional mm -hmm. and it's heated. Yeah. yeah. Should we dig in? Let's do it. Um, uh, so we should start cooking. I want to start with my tamago though. Tamago, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that is a soft, yeah, soft dashimaki tamago. It's still a bit warm. Mm. I also am going to have a little bit of Nihonshu from a local area here in Ibaraki called Kasama. And we're actually going to go there tomorrow. Oh, yeah, the oh, pottery. Awesome. So cheers hey. to Ibaraki. Ooh. 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 All right, I'm going to start putting my veggies in, getting them cooking. 
We. I think that's how you're meant to do it. Just like big. Yeah. I take my time. I'm gonna try to do the beef. I think it's hot enough. I'm going. Shop, shop, shop. Actually, I'm so glad they have this uh, goma sauce, this sesame sauce, because it's my favorite. Mmm. Yeah. I put it in the sauce. The sauce gives it the flavor. Yes. Rather than the dashi broth. Yes. That's what but I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to tell you. All right, dig in. Mmm. If this was Japanese TV, that's what would be coming. Dripping bad boy. Moist. This looks hot. All right, I'm gonna swish swish in this goma sauce. Goma sauce. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Right. Thank you. Ah, uh, but this is what I love about ryokan. Like we get to have this amazing meal. We've just had a bath. I'm gonna fall asleep as soon as we're done. Like I'm gonna get back to my room, get in the kotatsu and pass out. I don't recommend that. I think it's dangerous. But I think we got to get a good night's rest though, because tomorrow we've got a full day of activities. Ooh, I am very excited for a good sleep and another fun day with you, as always. So, see you guys in the morning. Yes, me. Oh, hi, Ogozaimas. It is bright and early, and we wanted to take a look at the garden because we didn't get to see it last night. Yeah, it was too dark when we arrived, but oh, had such a nice sleep. I feel totally refreshed. Same. Yeah. I always sleep so well on a futon. It was so Small good. Garden. And oh my gosh, yeah, this beautiful Japanese garden is amazing. Yeah, and there's some benches where you can just sit and chill. Yeah. yeah. I wish we could spend a little bit more time here. Shall we head? All right, let's get started. Let's go. Stretch. Wait, should we do some asa taiso? Okay. The Japanese radio taiso. It's This is like yokai watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm good to go. <laughs> Welcome to Kairaka M. This is one of the biggest gardens in Japan apparently, and it's massive. I can see all the way over there. It's huge. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever been in a garden this big, but uh, it was actually made by the ninth feudal lord of the Mito clan, which is Tokugawa uh, Nariaki. Nariaki? Yeah, Nariaki. that's his name. Uh, and he had, he had a huge love for plums. So there's actually a massive plum orchard here. You're a big plum fan. I know. A Umer shoe flan. <laughs> 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 shoe flan. Me and Nariaki, we'd, we'd vibe. Yeah, you uh, would. I'm a huge Ume fan. Ume shoe, Ume soda. And yeah, there's a massive orchard here and they have, I believe, a plum festival. Ooh. Yeah, and so unfortunately it's not in bloom right now, but if you guys are here in the right season, you've got to check it out. Also, we saw some sakura and you're like, what, it's not spring, but no, they have juke. That's a Zakura, which I heard for the first time. Yeah. So late or like October Sakura. Yeah. It's so nice to see Sakura. I was like, it was oh. a pleasant surprise. Oh. Yeah. So let's go for a walk and explore. Let's go. This is a great thing to do in the morning. Just enjoy oh, yeah. the bamboo forest. <laughs> That's true. I was going to say we can hear all the peaceful birds, but those crows are popping off. <laughs> yeah, but it's rare to hear birds in Tokyo, so it's nice to come out. It is, yeah. It actually is really I actually nice. read that Tokugawa Nairiki actually brought these bamboo from Kyoto oh. to Ibaraki. Wow. Well, you know what? I just wish that I could hear my favorite bird. <laughs> it's the <a> Ceridactyl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not the tranquility we need. Should we do a Zen bird? A Japanese bird. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, that mine's, a, mine's just a pigeon, though. <laughs> it's not really a, a very Japanese triangle, but it's better than us snoring. That's true. Yeah. Do we snore in the kodatsu? Oh yeah, true. When we fell oh, asleep yeah. together last night. Yep. I'm disturbing the peace again. Oh. Well, I'm ready for a snack. How about you? I am too. Are you blinded? So the sun was. Let in me guide my... you Thank to you. the Japanese tea house. <gasps> Japanese tea house. Hey. Sweets. Sweet? You're sweet. Yeah. 
We're inside Korbunte, which is this beautiful wooden building. It's very historic and it's three stories high and there's a maid building as well as an annex. Mm -hmm. And to my surprise, there's this cafe. Because last time I visited, I didn't get the chance to come here. Me and too. it's so nice. Yeah, I'm so excited. We get to try some sweets. We get a beautiful view of the garden. And this place has like a very rich history. So it was built by Lord Tokugawa and it burnt down in 1945. And then eventually it was rebuilt after it also burnt down again. With it, it was hit by a lightning, lightning yeah. strike. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's gone through a lot. It's been through a lot, but luckily we get to enjoy peace and tranquility and a beautiful cafe. And so the view is just breathtaking. It's beautiful. And this place is literally a cafe. It's called Cafe Raku, which Raku in Japanese means to like be at ease. Mm. So I'm at ease. I'm also at ease. And I'm ready to eat some sweets. Everything's here. We got all of our sweets. Uh, these look so amazing. Uh, I've never we seen anything like this. It's a matsu box with tiramisu, matcha flavored, and there's a little like red leaf. Yeah, yeah. I got the ume one, so the plum tiramisu. Looks so good. I'm excited to try all the different layers. Yeah, and, and there's a rock garden. Yeah, I like the way that they've like so raked cool. it. Uh, also, we got some hot plum tea. Should we give it a go? Yeah, half a plum in it. Ooh. So, cheers. Cheers. I know you're the ume girl. I'm ume girl. Ooh. Ooh. That's sour. Ooh. Ooh. It's like sour and very sweet as well. Yeah. Tiramisu time. Should we dig in? I'm so sad to break it, but... I know, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Okay, I got all the cake at the bottom and everything on. Oh, the sugar's all cracking on top. Hit the Wow. Oh my god. That's so good. Are you kidding me? I'm... I've never this had one this good. This is so good. I know... I should have more descriptive words. Give me a second. There's like the, the crunchy sugar on top. Mine has a really beautiful, like delicate mm. ume flavor, or plum flavor throughout. I've also got chunks of ume fruit, but they're not too sour or too sweet. Okay, I've got to dig more. Yeah, the cake down the, the bottom. The cake, yeah, it's like very... a sponge cake. And I also have, um, I think I have red bean in here. This is, I want to eat this every day. I would come here just for this. This is mm. insane. Mm. I've discovered a whole new layer at the very bottom. There's rich matcha flavor, whereas the top mm -hmm. is a lightly matcha, so like sugared mm. coating, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. But if you're not very good with matcha, this is the perfect way to try it because it's light. Mm. I lied again, by the way, there is jelly and there's ume oh. fruit. <laughs> <laughs> there are just more and more surprises as you keep going. This is really incredibly delicious. Yeah. I'm so happy with it. And it's seasonal as well here because this mm. is, I believe, a chestnut. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also have more things. So I'm a big dango mochi fiend. So I was like, can we get another dessert? There's a piece of seaweed wrapped around it and it's soy sauce flavored. And it pairs well with obviously Japanese tea, but this isn't green tea. This is roasted green tea. My favorite. Mm. You, you want to have a go? I'll have, I'll have a go. Thank you. Ooh. Good. Mm, chewy, right? Mm, very chewy. Extra chewy. But delicious. Delicious. No, it's delicious. There's mm. one more snack. We have gone all out. We have something called warabi mochi, which is another type of mochi, but it's very delicate. I feel like it just kind of melts in your mouth. It's mm. like watery. And it's covered in kinako powder, which is soybean. And it pairs with our ume tea. So that's sour versus sweet. I'm so happy. <laughs> mm. These are all so good. I love warabi mochi as well. Same. When I first came to Japan, it was one of the only mochi. I would, every time I went to the supermarket, I was getting warabi mochi. It was my favorite. And it's so much better when you come to a place like this. Mm. The, the quality is nicer. And then you have this peaceful view. Like we've been forgetting to look out. Take a moment I know to look you guys out. are getting all the view. We need to enjoy it. This view wow. is amazing. Oh, right this. now we're on the third floor and this is called Dakuju Do. And apparently to the west side, you can get a view of Mount Fuji on a clear day. This is beautiful. And you can see the lake is massive over there. And just the view of all the trees. It just goes on forever. That's so, so nice. I love getting a new perspective. We're up high, so. Yeah. And then we can see where we dined and had oh, our yeah. tea. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very beautiful. So Being able to see the changing of the leaves. Ah, oh, I love it. Japan. I love it so much. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
It's lunchtime, everybody. We have come to a place called Wagyuan, and we're gonna have just that, some Wagyu, but in a very special way. This is called Hitsumabashi, but usually it's with eel. It's like, a, was it Nagoya? Yes. A Nagoya special. Uh, but today we're having it with beef. So it's rice, Wagyu, and then uh, all these toppings, and we get to eat it in a bunch of different ways. I'm excited because this is my first time ever having this dish because it's always eel. Yeah, and the salad we can add some extra dressing. They have a homemade carrot dressing, so let's dig in. Yeah, oh, I'm so hungry. You must. It's like you must. But he was like, take this and break it into four. Oh, it's so soft. That's so soft. Mmm. It's lightly flavored, but really nicely flavored. I agree with that. Mmm. The rice has some kind of sauce going on. Add some negi. Oh. A little, little bit of wasabi, because mm. I'm not a, I, I mm. like wasabi, but not too often. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. <laughs> Elegant. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that just like such a simple combination, wasabi and like lightly, lightly flavored like beef? Yeah, it just adds like another level to it. And the texture differences with the mm. negi and the sesame seeds. Very delightful. Okay. I'm skipping ahead to try the third way. Here we go. Mmm. Again, it's like a, a different dish. The um the dashi is super nice, very lightly flavored, but when I breathe out, it tastes really <laughs> it tastes really good. Oh, Do you yeah. have that when you breathe out? No. <laughs> you like feel the flavor again? Breathe. Um, yeah, it's just very I, I like adding um we like go to the rice. You're right, very light, mm -hmm. dashi flavored. Broth. Mm. This feels like a very luxurious experience. Like the restaurant itself is very modern and beautifully built. And this was only around 3,000 yen. Was, only? <laughs> well, yeah, I, well, I mean, for someone overseas, like I feel like overseas prices are really expensive. USD, so. yeah. You get a good amount of beef. I don't know, I feel like for maybe yakiniku or something, if you want to try wagyu, you get, you know, a little bit and you fry it, it's, it's good, but this, you get you get a good helping. And we've got to eat faster. We've got oh. one last thing to do in Ibaraki before we head back to Tokyo. Okay, so go, 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 go. Ah. <laughs> now. It's pottery time, baby. We've come to Kasama Craft Hills and we get to make some pottery. I, I've done it a few times before, but today I want to make a really tall vase, which is a bit more difficult than anything I'm used to. So, uh, and I am making a large cup. So basically we got a little intro, but my step one was after Emma's was shown and my memory is failing me. So I'm just getting familiar with holding really it. You're really pressing that. I think yeah, I gotta put my thumb in the middle and push down. Ooh, that's satisfying. If you haven't heard, Ibaraki is famous for its pottery. And so when you come here, you'll probably find a lot of shops selling it, but you can also experience it yourself, which is what we've come to do before heading home. And I kind of hope I come home with something that looks all right. I'm gonna get the sensei to help me very soon because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, trying to make my tour vase. It's a different form than what I'm used to, but hopefully I also can be Jozu just like Sarah. I'm scared of going a bit too fast though. So I'm trying not to make it too thin, but also when you bake pottery, it gets a lot smaller, like 15% smaller than the original size. So I'm trying to keep that in mind. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I missed you. My I cup missed shape. you. Yeah, <laughs> she's still oh. super thick though. I'm trying to get her. I'm trying to get her a little bit. Oh, I'm not. I'm not allowed to lift my arm up. Oh. Oh. oh no, Sarah. Uh, I knew this would happen to me. I knew it. I'm all done with this the last time, so I have actually done this experience before, and last time, the clay, I, I left it so thick, the plate could have killed someone. <laughs> like, it's so thick. It was, uh, it was a brutal plate, so I'm hoping I can get it to be a little bit, a little bit thinner this time, otherwise this is going to weigh like 20 kilos. It's fun. I really like this. I like how you can uh, come to this beautiful studio, like we have nice windows and we have a view of the mountains. Also, the sensei is so sweet. 
So sweet. Hey, so sweet. Hey. 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 Yeah, I don't know. I'm just such a sucker for handmade goods. Oh. Yeah. You go to Emma's house. She's got tons of them. Love them. And she's made a bunch of them. Yeah. Mine. I like to so buy lucky. it because the professionals do such a good job. <laughs> True. So maybe I'll buy like a handmade Ibaraki one. I mean, technically, like I made this, but you did. Really, a professional's making it. I mean, look at her go. <laughs> I mean, where are your hands? Good. I'm in there. I'm. I'm helping. Your hands are dirty. I'm moral support right now. This is what I wanted. <laughs> Big old vase. My image. I know it's it's great to be able to make your own pottery because I'm like I've wanted this kind of thing for my place, and you know getting the professional made stuff, it's it's amazing. But I'm like this I have actual cool memories too, so it feels really special. Ooh yeah, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. And then I got to pick the glaze. I haven't figured out what color I want. What's gonna match my aesthetic? Ah, oh, this is such a special experience. Mom, I'm so sorry. I wanted to give this to my mom, and she will watch this video. She watches every TC video. Uh, I tried. Ah, kiru. Ah, so this one. So cool. Dake. See, that's all I got. Oh, oh, I don't have a vision. Par. Dek mashed. Oh no, don't make me do this. Oh my god, I don't think I can do it. No, 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 don't make me do it. I can't do it. <laughs> so, how do you how do you feel? How'd you do? I had a lot of fun. I wouldn't say I'm confidently like, yes, I am the best pottery craftsperson in Japan, but Good time. Yeah, I had so much fun. I'm really, really excited with what I got to do, and I had a vision, and I you did. You did, it. Yeah. yeah. And the sensei was so kind. Yeah, she was yeah. so patient. Yeah. So if you come here, you'll have a good experience. Yeah, yeah. And I can't wait to receive our pots. Well, no, they're not pots. <laughs> no, no, none of them are pots. <laughs> I can't our pottery. Wait to, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to receive our pottery. It takes usually two and a half months, but here's our photo from the future. Wow. Yeah, they're going to glaze it for us. We got to pick the colors that we wanted. Mm. And yeah, super excited to get them yeah. in the future. Mm. This is yeah. awesome. Yeah, but now the sun is going down and we gotta we gotta leave, we gotta leave Ibaraki. But it has been so, so much fun. I'm so happy with all the activities we got yeah. to do. And definitely if you guys come to Japan, check out Ibaraki. It's just, there's so many unexpected fun things at the top. Thank you so much to Ibaraki Prefecture for inviting us. Let us know what your favorite activity was down below. Like, subscribe and comment for more, but see you guys. Goodbye. Bye. Also eat natto if you visit. Eat natto, that's true. Yeah, random fact. <laughs> like a one punch man moment. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Bros. Oh, no, no! That was so weak! Oh my god! Oh, that's pretty good.